Hi, today we are going to discuss a question based on our collection of short stories. The question is to discuss the significance of family. Discuss the significance of family and relationship with reference to two or three short stories in your collection. So as usual, you have to find out first when you get a question what you are supposed to do. Here you are supposed to discuss. So what you have to discuss, the thing, the main word in the question is family and relationship. So as usual, as I have mentioned in the previous videos, you have to analyze the main words in your question. So in this kind of a combined question, you can easily identify what short stories or what poems you can select for this kind of a question when you analyze the main words. So the main word is family and relationship. So what do you mean by family? What do you mean by a relationship? Then you have to discuss that concept with reference to two or three short stories in your collection. And remember, you have to give a proper introduction to your question. Then you have to take two or three short stories in your collection and you have to give enough discussion in your answer. So, what do you mean by family? Family can mean uh, what? Family defines who you are. That's the basic definition. Like family is something that defines who you are. In another way, family enables us to feel a sense of belonging. We feel like we belong to this family. So, family gives us a sense of belonging. And if you define what is family in one word, you can define it as a what? As a protection, comfort, because family gives, a family is always a source of comfort for you, a source of support. Family gives you the support. Family is the security. Family is warmth. So family can mean something like that you can define in one word. And also family, finally, the family makes you feel that you belong to this world. So these are different definitions. And also you can look at it in another perspective. Family is not what you see always, like what you expect always. Family can mean like, uh, family can mean um, actually it is where you get free, where you become free it's your family. So, uh, family, uh, it's a place where you can quarrel, where you can have a conflict, where you can gain experience, where you can express yourself. But at the same time, we can, I have to remember, it is not always what we expect. And normally, like uh, sometimes through social media, you, uh, uh, you peep into the lives of, uh, you peep into the families of other people and you can come to conclusions that they are the happiest family in the world. But it's not always like that. It can be something different. So what you see, what a family is like, uh, we don't have secrets. So you see the reality in the family. You will understand this point uh, when we discuss one of the short stories. So family is the place where you can be free. So like that, you can give a proper definition. What is a relationship or what is family first? Then you can, you have in your introduction, you are supposed to introduce what are the two or three short stories you are going to discuss in the question. So I thought of selecting Everyday Use by Alice Walker, uh, Evelyn by James Joyce and uh, Cat in the Rain by Ernest Hemingway. So first let's take Everyday Use by Alice Walker. So in brief, what do you see? Um, you see a hard-working black mother with two different daughters. The daughters with two different perspectives, two different ways of thinking. Then, uh, that is also there we find something very common. We always find like uh, disagreements in families. It is not always that uh, we agree with our family members. Arguments can always happen. Uh, quarrels, conflicts. Uh, sometimes we leave families, uh, glass menagerie, a good example, but it's a family, right? Uh, 
so uh, here uh, what and also just uh, another idea family is what makes you a home family is something that makes you a home so here in the story alice walker's story you find that uh, two different ideas uh, d the eldest daughter she failed to realize that concept what she failed to realize family is giving you the home she failed to understand what what is home and on the other side mama or mag and maggie uh, you can easily give the examples with the first paragraph in the short story the yard she said it's not not just a yard so she talks about the bond she has so like that you can explain like the home and uh, what is their relationship how do you analyze their relationship uh, what is family for d what is family for maggie if you compare with the first uh, definition you gave you can come to uh, you can explain as like uh, for maggie the family is something uh, what as a source of protection uh, for Ma because mama is someone protective to maggie and maggie is longing and also uh, not maggie d is longing for mama is longing for a close relationship with d she talks about a television a television program where she makes a uh, illusionary relationship she knows it's not reality so that's what i told you like we often find uh, happy families in on television or social media but it won't be the truth so and also the story alice walker's story talks about the concept of understanding comprehension how how comprehensive you should be when you belong to a family mama for mama could not understand d she even d could not so their misunderstanding makes them have a complex relationship so the and also mama feels like she is uh, rejected in front of d that is also her failure like she cannot understand the way that d thinks so it's a kind of uh, you can say there's a bafflement a puzzling or complex relationship in these three people so that is about Alice Walker's, and if you come to uh, Evelyn by James Joyce, there once again we get a family. What? The basically uh, you find a father and daughter relationship. So you have to. You are supposed to analyze the father and daughter relationship. It's a uh, almost it's a master servant relationship, where Evelyn's father acts as a domestic tyrant. Is uh, or there's an abusive kind of. Uh, character or um, he's expecting Evelyn to do all the household work and also he's even taking the money she earns a threatening kind of relationship there's physical violence but that is also common that is also something truth we find in family and uh, there's no happiness at all but at the same time you can talk about there is something there's something small that drags Evelyn to stay in her family because why she did not leave with frank one thing is she she was not uh, she was not sure about the relationship but the other thing is the promise she made to her mother and also that kind of a promise we we often find that kind of a promise in common day-to-day uh, -to -day societies the, and also evelyn is the eldest daughter in the family so it is common that the eldest daughters they make promises to their parents and they are supposed to look after the other siblings so this is typical uh, the fact that being responsible Evelyn wanted to be responsible as a daughter and she wanted to keep the uh, she wanted to be resp responsible in front of her mother even though like in front of um, even though she did not uh, satisfy with the family she belongs but uh, she wanted to live 
so that's also something like sometimes you are not happy uh, with the family relationships we have but there's something that makes us to live something that makes us feel that uh, we should live we should be responsible we cannot leave this family there's a bond right so that is evelyn by james stress i hope you can describe further then uh, i thought of selecting another short story in case if you have not done one of these short stories you can select uh, two short stories so at least one short story you can take and analyze under the uh, question i gave then let's take the other short story cat in the rain by ernest hemingway where we find a marital relationship so there we find an american wife she is totally controlled by her husband and ends up become uh, she is becoming a neglect of marital victim she is neglected by the husband we can like she she is controlled but uh, as we have i think we have discussed in a previous question that uh, she she tries to be independent so uh, but on the surface we can say she is controlled the husband say oh she is neglected the main word you can use is the neglect so she tries uh, throughout the story we find that uh, she tries to gain a kind of fulfillment by forcing or by focusing by paying her attention to the stray cat she tries to gain uh, like that is something we uh, uh, need to have in a life in the life we are expecting to find a kind of fulfillment so she wants to get that fulfillment so how she tries to get that it is through the stray cat so uh, the husband's lack of uh, involvement in wife's wants and the hotel keeper's character you can comment about because that character is used to show what a woman expects in a marriage especially in a marriage a woman expects the respect she is expecting a woman expects the husband's respect that is uh, like uh, then love it works like it is the respect like when the husband is not respecting or neglecting she feels like she is rejected so the and also the feeling of importance a kind of attention um what uh, sometimes uh, in husband's perspective what the wife needs may be not important in husband's perspective but uh, the fact that she is requesting or the fact that she is expecting a kind of respect it's the main thing in the short story so the woman's expectation and also once again you can talk about the idea of protection as we have defined in the introductory part so uh, i would like to give you some more words you can apply these words with other short stories as well uh, the idea of boredom when you belong to a family you feel like uh, the idea of monotony and uh, the passion sensuality find out the meanings and see how you can fix the words with different short stories incomprehension and the feeling of frustration loneliness and people may have hidden desires when you you have to be aware of the hidden desires of other people when you belong to a family and uh, what you lack in a relationship so you are supposed to make a proper definition on what is family use lot of words make your language advanced make it more academic because we are going we are doing academic writing so make it more academic and use lot of words a lot of vocabulary use strong verbs as much as possible give a proper introduction always make your second third fourth paragraphs the other short stories the short stories you are going to discuss under the main theme of the under the main word in the question make sure your second para has a connection with the first para because if you say something different in the first paragraph and uh, and if you write something different in the second paragraph the short stories you are not supporting if you are not supporting what you said in the first para then there's no connection in your paragraphs so make sure 
you give a proper introduction and always use the words and use the ideas you used in your introduction in the second, third, fourth paragraphs when you are giving examples with short stories. So if you have done one or two or if you have done all three short stories, you can analyze all three. At least if you have done one of these short stories, you can analyze and make it as a long question. So meet you. I, let's meet with another question soon. Bye.